it's all right. Here you go. Moment of truth. So if you have, um, it's a single girl, yeah. So if you have a Can Am Maverick X3 and you have that, you know what, low speeds, ours, I think ours has done it probably from 100 miles in, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, just under eight miles per hour, like from anywhere from two to eight. Yeah, and it has, has that little rattle noise like we talked about earlier in this video. It sounds like a bunch of rattling, you know, bolts in a, an aluminum can, yeah, like a metal can. like springs, like you like said. Like springs, yeah. Yeah, light, something light in a metal can is kind of what it sounds like. So, uh, we uh, just fixed it in this car. So, if you need yours fixed, just watch this video if you didn't already just now. What do we have going on out here in the garage? It's a dirty machine. It's a dirty, dirty, dirty machine. That's a nice machine. That's a little dirty. We were in the mountains, that's what happens. You should see ours. It's way worse. Yeah, they dandy. Like my motor. The dandy off road's dirty. Brandy did it. I'm gonna blame her mostly. Holy crap. Well, this is because you had uh, uh, shiny all over it oh, and yeah. it stuck to it. the McGuire's tire shine on that bad boy, you know? And we're pretty for this thing. <laughs> Tires in, right, right, right. I like this cage. Who's this cage again? It's a Ferris Motorsports. So it's, a, uh, it's a one up. What is it? It's a one up from Ferris Motorsports. They're here in Fresno. Nice. So uh, they did the uh, cage, they did the little recessed light pocket for my two inch light bar. Oh, yeah. Which I wanted. Yeah. A lot of the cages are production made, they're about one inch. So just a little custom one up. Yeah. So they've got some ruggeds. Yes, custom well, console. They built me a console too. Who did the console? Uh, Ferris Motorsports. That's nice. They did a good job. So, That's back before anyone was that, doing those. Exactly. The the guy Josh who was building them, he built like ten, I think, and he wanted to actually sell them and do a production deal. Took it to, you know, a couple places, and then after that, boom, boom, they were in business. People. Yeah, people started like building that little console, and that was it. So yeah. Well, oh, what do we got? Uh, what's up? Launch switch? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See the one to the right of it? The sport mode? Yeah. Yeah, what about it? I have a new one to replace that one. What happened? Have, oh. you, have you seen that one? No. I'll have to show it to you. Yeah. It's a special little button. Hey, I got a, actually it's in my truck right now, I got a light bar that looks like a Baja Designs for my bumper. Nice. I was going to pull out. It looks just like it. I haven't opened it up yet, but online it looks like it, but. Nice. Yeah. All right, so what's going on? So what's going on with this car? Why is it? Why is it in the damn? It's making garage? a big rattle noise. Right. So some of the viewers are probably gonna probably know what it is. Yeah. But it sounds like a it sounds like a bunch of like a empty Folger can, aluminum can with a bunch of springs in it. That's so what I would. That's and what just I would say, yeah. just rattling around, and it goes away after eight miles per hour. The faster yeah. you go, you don't hear it. Yeah. But just low end. Yep. Zero to eight, you're gonna hear like a. <sighs> so at that resonant frequency, it takes off. After that, it, it goes sounds, away. It sounds, and I know metal tra saddle, uh, travels through. Uh, I'm sorry, sound travels, travels through yeah. metal. Especially so when it's metal on metal. Yeah. It sounds like the, it sounds like the front. Then you put your ear in the back. You kind of hear it in the back, but then you hear it travel to the front. So at first, I heard it Dumont Dunes at President's Weekend. Mm -hmm. So it was a two-wheel drive. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna put it four low. So I put it four low, four high, and it went away. I didn't know what was going on, so I go, okay. Come back to Pismo in March, around four-wheel drive, it did it, it started doing it just minor, you know, in four-wheel drive where it didn't do it at all at Dumont. And now it's just getting worse and worse and worse. To be honest with you, I think my car makes that noise right now. We should find out. Yeah, definitely. Let's do it. Uh, we're gonna find out if we get that same noise. Take this off. Yeah. Alright, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it a little slow putt and see if this car makes that same noise. This car has a lot more miles on it. I can hear it right now. In yeah. Reverse. Yeah. Not as bad, but it's doing it. Yeah. And this car has almost, we got 29,642 miles. Oh yeah. I think it's in the drive shaft. 
Alright, so there we go. Same noise, we're gonna take a look at his and see. His is actually louder. How many miles do you have? I only have 1,500. So he has half the miles, yep. but his is louder. There we go. Take the wires out from our radiates. So we got what? Oop. We got the uh, black. God dang it. So we got the black, That's white, and red. Black's on top. What is that for? It's for the radiance bar, so the rigid, so the backlighting. Oh. Nice. So you know you want to be cool, man. Put that on there at that time. All right, check this out. All right, let's come around there. You can sound like it, Darren. What's that? You have a light. It probably is. The drive line just needs to be increased. All right. All right. Well, look at one of the problems is they didn't reconnect the drive line. Hmm. See, see the green line? Look at that. So when they put that uh, bearing in here. Let me, let, me, let me zoom in. Yeah, check it out. So we got the sand crap bearing in there. So when we put the sand crap bearing in, I guess uh, the lines didn't line up, but I don't think that's gonna be the problem with that rattle. Wow, but it does look like it's supposed to be lined up. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be. That's, we gotta, I gotta fix that. Weight is still on there, so you're good with the balancing. Oh, I think what we have to do, we have to disconnect the front and then disconnect the front U joint yeah. and then that slides out so that way this can pop out. So we definitely have to do the uh, the front U joint. I'm going okay. to do that first. All right. But I think both need to be greased up. All right. Yeah. And we can line that up while we're at it. Okay. All right. So what we're doing is we're going to pull this. Uh, can you see that guy? Yep. Carry bearing. So you can also, this guy right here, on the, um, I gotta get out of here. down on that, zooms okay. in. What's there? Oh, right there. Okay. Oh, there it is. Perfect. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to pull the carrier bearing. Is it a Sandcraft carrier bearing? Yes, sir. We're going to pull that out so we can pull the drive shaft loose. But basically, we want to pull everything apart as far as we can to find out what the vibration is. So even if we don't need to pull this loose, we're going to because that's how we roll. Right. We're going to pull it loose because it's only two bolts and it's easy. We're going to come over here to the other side. We're going to pull that other bolt off. Then we're going to pull uh, the drive shaft loose from the front bit. And take a look at all this and see what's going on. See, and make them around. Say thanks, Danny. Every time I use this ratchet, a carry bearing is loose, so we can move this shaft around. Mm -hmm. Now what we just gotta do is unbolt the front. Alright, now we're gonna come around here and get this bolt lined up. That looks like a 13. Alright? I'm gonna see. Yeah, looks like a 13. I'm gonna grab a 13 and an impact. Perfect. I think it zooms in pretty good. Yeah, there it is, right there. All right. I think 13. 13? All right. Okay, so we're going to see if we can get in there with this guy. All right, let's see. And, and for any of you out there that have done this, go ahead and make fun of us. For any of you that haven't, this might not how, be how you do it, but if it works out, we're going to say this is how you do it, all right? We're just pretty much winging it, man. We're winging it. Guys, guess what? In the end, if it works, I didn't get dirt on my hands. What happened? Okay, so right off the bat, I'm gonna say that is how you do that one. Except we're gonna need a we're gonna need a uh, wrench on the other side of the stuff. Okay, so we the the bolt spinning. 
So we're gonna need a wrench on this side. I'm gonna throw it. a wrench on the side. Your eye is gonna grab that side. So we'll come back in a minute because we only have 14 hands here. Yep. So just, KD, where are we at now? Okay, so we got the bolt out, we got the nut off, we got the bolt out. I got a pry bar right here because I thought we had to pry this drive shaft back. So far it looks like it's going to slide right off, so we'll get a shot of So it. let's go down here. All right, let's do this real quick. Hold on. Let's do this here. All righty. All right, so I think it just kind of, oh yeah, look at that, it's just sliding like yep. that. There's sure barely is. any resistance. Until I get to the end. <laughs> uh, oh, that, it just bound up. We're still going. I don't know how long that spline is. It's apparently pretty long. There's the little uh, end dip for the bolt right there. Okay. I'm going to come around that side because I feel like I ran out of room. I'm going to get on if I'll get any more on this side or not. Hold on. You know what? I feel like at this point. People are making fun of us because we probably... There uh, we go. Because we probably... Anyway, can pull it out that side, on the passenger side. All right, let's go take a look. Like. All right. So I'm going to assume that there's room to push this whole thing. Oh, yeah, look how yep. far back on the splines. We already see that. So we're way oh, back okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Me. There it is. Yep, I see it. Okay. Cool. So, let's see. Got it. It's out. All righty. I don't know which way it's going to go. Though. I almost feel, let me go take a look. Let's go look over here. Or maybe go out the back side, huh? Yeah, bring it here. Let's take a look. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Plenty of room? I think we can just come right through here. All right. <clears throat> but I don't know. Like I said, I haven't done this. I haven't had ours out, even though it makes noise, because I'm really good at ignoring things like that. Just uh, make sure you don't scrap the, uh, scrape the plastics. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There she is. Easy. So there's two different lines on this. There's a line here and there's a line there. But the theory is, is that it's vibrating in these spines. Mm -hmm. So we'll clean these out, and then we will uh, grease them up. This is not what Dean said he did? Yep, and what we'll do is we'll put the front drive line in. We'll take it for our test drive to see if it kind of eliminate the problem a lot. Because I know the rear has to be done too. Well, but I just kind of want to see. Pulling on that drive shaft, it looks like it's coming right forward. Or do you want to do, oh yeah, that's right, huh? Here, let's just, since we have it apart, we yeah. might want to do both. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Let's see here. Be careful. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're halfway off. Perfect, let's do it. All right, so let's do this. Uh, I don't know if you can get camera in here at all. Uh, I can get, yeah, just a little bit partially. Let me put this light right up in here. <clears throat> put the light up in the anal crevice. There we go. Oh, yeah. So, all right. We got something stopping us up here. Got it. Boom. All right. Woo. Look at that. Yeah. Holy crap. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see here. So we got... All right, so we got our drive line in there. So we got to pull it the same way, out that way, and then pull it out the back side of the driver's seat. All right, what do we got? Okay, so what we're doing, this thing's got a Sandcraft uh, carrier bearing in it. Okay, let's check that out. We're gonna pull it out because we want to get that back, uh, the back half of the drive shaft out so we can clean it up because we're gonna grease that back half also. Perfect. I feel like we need to check on this too because this bolt, yeah, now uh, it's been shipped out for one. Also, it was bottomed out, mm -hmm. and it was, this piece was loose. Nice. That bearing is galled up. So basically, I mean, we have to go to the hardware store. That bolt's no point on us. No, just yeah. I don't think we're getting out that way. I don't know how. How but... if we slide it this way over here? It won't corner over here, huh? To the back end? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get it out, but I'm glad we pulled that off because that bolt was yep. funky. Actually, you know if you go, nope. We have a little bit of play in this carrier bearing, right? We don't have another one to replace it right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some grease in it and hope that it's uh, still good. Ah. It's 
except that I think we're out of grease. I think what's going to happen is that we're going to go get some uh, a tube of grease mm -hmm. and a bowl. Yep. So we'll be and one bowl, right? And one bowl. Okay. We're back. Okay. So what's going on, Uriah? We're going to take the driver's seat out and. <clears throat> Remove the side panel. That way we get this rear drive line out, clean the splines up, and then uh, grease them. Put it back in. Yeah. Oh. So apparently you can get the back, the back half of the drive shaft out of the car completely if you take the seat and the side panel off the console. I kind of wondered that myself, but uh, you know, we learn it. Anyway, yeah, so I'm pulling some seats out. Or a cool A seat down. Come on, talking about this guy right here? Yep. And then that whole part of the belt comes off. Okay. We're just ripping this car apart. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Do the same thing on this one too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's right. There's a hanger in here. Yeah. Yeah. There's always something snagging. Where we got? Oh, you're on the belt. Um, oh, that's right. I gotta, I gotta move this. Yeah, you gotta go in and out. I cut my seat. Yeah, I want to cut mine too. I thought I did. Thanks, sir. Time to get some Simpson seats. I gotta tell Brandy, hey, yeah, guess what? I broke my seat. I need to get Simpsons now. Right? So, you, so don't record this. Yeah, it's broke. Totally broke. Yeah. But I'm gonna take a picture and send it to my girl and say, hey, babe, well, I think it's time for new seats. Yeah. I just can't get one. I gotta get a matching. Oh, yeah, you can't have one. Simpson, that'd be, yeah. that'd be, that would look ridiculous. But good news, babe, you're gonna ride better. Right? <laughs> Pro. Oh, look at that. Bingo, Jackson. Whew. That should come out, hopefully, a little easier, right? right? Possibly, possibly. Right, right? I, don't, I wouldn't say it's going to be easy. I want to see how far back I can go in here. I just want to see how far I can get it. Okay, there it is right there. All right, so let me scoot this over here. How far are you? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can take it to the other side. I wonder what's hitting over there. In the back of the car. <laughs> Let me go look. Let's go take a look. Because I can get it right through here. Or. How oh, you are? The, oh yeah, you're all. Hold on a second. I have an idea. Hold okay. on. Re ready? Yeah. Uh, go forward a tiny bit. Okay. Uh, rotate it. Uh, uh, other way. Other way a little bit. Other. Uh, about right there. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay, that's, oh dude, hold on, come back here, I think we got it. Okay. <laughs> I just don't have two hands. That's all good, it's all good. Uh oh yeah, huh? Here we so go. just pull up, you're catching on that wiring harness, so yeah, just push it out of the way a little bit. Oh yeah. So if you need to know how to get your rear drive shaft out of your car without taking the car completely apart, I think we just stumbled onto it. Just a little snag here. Let's take a look. What's going on? What are we snagging on? Oh, the carrier right here. Okay. So we, we might need to pull that carrier off, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, once it dips the end, I just need somebody to watch that while I, while All right, I pull I'll it keep off. An eye. Like... You guys keep an eye on this for us. Tell us what we're missing. It'll be after the fact, but don't worry about that. Okay, I'm pulling. Uh, I don't think, hold on a second. Okay. Uh, I don't know what it's caught on. Let's see. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think we're going to have to pull that carrier, but come back my way a little bit. I think we need to pull this carrier off. So we need to find the C-clip. Well, for, uh, 
Let me, let me see if I can, uh... We can clean it right there, Actually, huh? we can clean it from right here. There you go, there you go. You know? So we could definitely get so it. Let me if, get, let me, okay. When we go so, get bolts, I'm gonna get my car cleaner too. Do we'll, get, we'll get a, uh, a pan, okay. or we'll get a car cleaner, so that way Okay, okay. Because we can't pressure spray it right here. Okay. We don't necessarily need it all the way out for what we're doing. We just need it clean. Yep. So Great what grease. we're going to do is we're going to leave it right where it's at and clean it and slide it all back in place, grease it up, or grease it up out out, out here where it's at. But in the meantime, we're going to we're gonna go get a bolt. Yep. Travis, good. Okay, so we made a run to the store. What did we get? Car cleaner, grease. Um, what else did we get? Car cleaner, grease. And some food. Some food. Food from Foster Freeze. I'm still eating, but we had to go see. What, so what's going on? You're just cleaning out the sponge. You're cleaning out all the grease. All the, the mud, stuff. the grease, the dirt. The dirt yeah. Pismo sand all day. Then on so. this end, the other end that he's not cleaning right now, we'll put some grease in that and those sponge and see if that gets rid of our uh, vibration noise, right? Hopefully, man. You said there was a loose bolt on the sandcraft bearing. Yep. It's a little loose. And we got a bolt to fix that. Yeah. That could cause a little bit of vibration, a little squeaky noise that we heard, maybe. And we've got some grease, and if I can ever get this tube of grease out of this grease gun, then we, uh, yeah. We'll be good to go. Then we'll put some grease uh, in the sandcraft bearing as well. Yes, sir. So. We'll be. All right, what's going on here? <clears throat> got some grease. Grease in the splines. Yeah. yeah. I feel like uh, colonoscopy is going on right now, you know? You feel like what? Colonoscopy, whatever it is, you know? All right. So you get the shaft, place your finger in there. Yep. I don't think we can put this on you. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> but we're going to do it anyway. All right. What do you think? That's enough or what? Let's put more. Yeah, what do you think? Mm, that's pretty good. Yeah, a little right. more. Keep it like that. More can't hurt. More can't hurt, all right? Exactly, man. Give it more love. Okay, what's going on here? Over here. So we clean this end up as well. Oh, you're right, I did. I was too busy eating. Smashing down. Chasing down some chicken strips. And some parts and some. Oh, man. Dude, where'd you get these at, you? man? Look at this. What is this? All right, I need some more. out of your truck. <laughs> We <laughs> <laughs> uh, the grease. We don't need the grease because that one's going in that shaft. All we have to do is this side and slap it all back together and bolt it in. Correct. We want to do so, a little road test. So Please. after I do this, I'll let you put everything back together. I'll go home, take a nap. All right, all right. Come back tomorrow. That's good. Hopefully, I can pick it up by ten. Yeah. Ten. Absolutely, right. absolutely. Ten, ten. Ten, ten. We, got it. we have a mess in here right now because we are constructing in the house. That's why we have this this package came in from France for Jilly. Um, but it has some for Jilly stuff in it. All right, so we'll slide that thing through, poke it through. I don't think it needs to line up, right? Uh, the front one, one. Uh, I don't, I didn't see any marks on the back one. I didn't the see front anything. one had some marks. I don't know what yes. they mean. I've never explored that. Uh, it lines up so you don't get that uh, vibration shiver. Yeah. So <clears throat> you'll see, you'll see the front. Should be marked too as well. No? This no. one didn't get marked. Okay, so Not this right. backside is marked of course. That's so that you can phase the U-joints. Right. Okay. I'm going to pull it. Yeah, I'll. The camera will right. keep an eye on it. You're good, you're good, you're good. Hold on one second. Hold on. Uh, a little, nice and easy. Go nice and easy. Hold on. I'm kind of caught somewhere. So come back my way a tiny bit and then turn it counterclockwise and you'll probably come loose. Uh, other way? Other way. A little more. Uh, you know what, I'm sorry. Go the other way. Let's see if that rotates. Now pull it. Can you pull it your way a little bit? No. All right. Ugh. Twist it back the other way. Uh, come back towards me. Oh, there we go. All right, where's the snag on? Uh, can you come back towards me again? 
Okay, now turn it uh, counterclockwise. Other way. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now go your way. Huh. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Keep going now. Go. There you go. There we go. You got it. Hopefully there's no wires that I fucked up. Ow. Okay. So. Okay. So. What got here? I'd pump some grease on it while you have it right here. Uh, maybe. Let me, and we can, let me grab the grease. Yeah, I'm gonna... Let me grab it. I hope the guy didn't get it. Taking it? Yeah. There it is. Came it's, out? It started coming out this, yeah, the top. You wanna try it? <laughs> I don't know if we cut, I don't know how much of this we got earlier, but basically what happened is at some point uh, you had bolts come loose. Mm -hmm. One of them broke off in the car somehow, which is kind of weird to me. I mean, broke off in the car in the bearing right. carrier. Uh, right. So what we did, there's still plenty of uh, thread left. So what we did is we got a shorter uh, bolt rather than dig what was left. Mm -hmm. Because literally, at least still that much is still right. going in there. Uh, we were missing uh, washers. Washers. Uh, we got the shorter bolt, like I said. Uh, the other bolt was tore up. I cleaned this bolt up. I lock tighted it. We're gonna put it back together. We greased everything up. That's Perfect. Where we're at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it seems like there's some adjustment forward and back. I don't know where it should be. We're gonna go middle. Really? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? Would, Would you just look, look at, at it? Look, look, look at, at it. We're on. We just got to knock All it. All right. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, yeah. What's that? Okay, I just need the bolt. Yeah, right here, brother. There's the bolt here, and I got the nut. When you need it, slide that bad boy through. You know, I'm gonna clock it where it was. Okay. Because that way we can get to the bolt. Cool. All right, we're gonna do what we did earlier, so we'll be right back. We gotta throw a wrench on one side. Get right. back on the other with the 13, if I'm not mistaken. We got the drive shaft, the short shaft, the front drive shaft back on, right? What's that, I'm sorry? We got the front drive shaft back on. Yes. We clamp, We uh, put the bolt in, tightened it down, mm -hmm. and then we actually got the Sandcraft carry bear and all bolted back in. We forgot to video it. We got a little carried away. Yeah, it was fun actually. So we're what we're doing? Really is, yeah, we're just bolting this thing. So what we're doing is just bolting this thing back up together, bolting it back together. All the. Oh, you know what? I lost that clip. Uh oh. Oh, I'll fix it. Okay. All right. Well. Oh, look at that. We got a little seatbelt block off right there. Yeah. Remember that when these first came out? Yeah. 15 mile an hour. Yeah. <laughs> I already had that happen to me a couple times in the new Razor. I'm like, what is going? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with this thing now? That's, that's Stupid Razor. <laughs> I mean, RZR. <laughs> All right. We'll be back. We're going to test. We'll go test drive this thing in a little bit. Okay, okay man. What time is it? It's almost five. Monday afternoon. No, I didn't, I didn't mean like in a literal sense. <laughs> it's five o'clock. Saturday afternoon. No, but what time is it? Oh, what time it is? Time to get this thing on the road and see if we fix it. Time to try it and see if it see works. See if we fixed it. Yeah. yeah, it was a lot of work. It was. I mean, either way. Well, it was learning through yeah. the process, you know. It's so not that bad. The really. quickest way to do it and everything else. And so it took us time. And, well, but and I'm it's, pretty sure that there's other faster ways. Here's what I'd say about all that. It's a damn good thing that we did it because there was a couple of issues we found. Right. Well, one issue. 
and that's that. Uh, for one, you didn't have any like lactite. La lactite. You didn't have any lactite. We can't even talk right now, dude. What's up? With you that? didn't have any loctite uh, <laughs> in the bolts holding your carrier bearing together. When well, that's because you had to put it together in the desert, right? You know, with no, no, nothing. No, nothing. Yeah. Um, one of the bolts wasn't tight because uh, you had a broke off piece of a bolt in the hole. Wasn't allowing that. So, you know, you didn't have um, washers. And I think that bearing was probably pretty dry. We put some grease in it. It's still a little loose. Still a little moves around. We'll probably got to like talk to him about maybe getting another one. Yep. But in the meantime, and uh, your drive and your drive shaft was out of phase. Yes, it was. So we all that there's down. all that. But we're gonna see if it got rid of the noise. Okay. If it did, then we know how to fix the noise in the dandy car, which, like I say, I've gotten pretty good at ignoring. So. Uh, he's gonna back this thing out before it gets 170. Brand new battery, same battery, same factory battery, brand new February, and it's always been like this. It's like a two, two, two. But there's some days where it just fires right up, and there's some days it just. If I just, if I, if I don't let it run on, uh, it sets too long. Where's your little? You get a little trickle charger. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I say that, and I never use ours. All right, let's get out of here. Let's give an overall of what happened. So if you have, um, it's a single group, yeah. So if you have a Can Am Maverick X3, and you have that, you know what, low speeds. Ours, I think ours has done it probably from 100 miles in. I yeah, don't know. just under eight miles per hour, like from anywhere from two to eight. Yeah, and it, it has, just has that little rattle noise, like we talked about earlier in this video. It sounds like a bunch of rattling, you know, bolts in a, an aluminum can, yeah, like a metal can, like springs, like, like you said, like springs, yeah. yeah, light something light in a metal can is kind of what it sounds like. So. Uh, we uh, just fixed it in this car. So if you need yours fixed, just watch this video if you didn't already just now. Yes. Right. And don't forget to click and subscribe. Hope you guys like this video. I know some of you guys are pretty laughing the way we do things. <laughs> it's all learning experience. And I'm glad I got to learn something. And I'm glad the problem was taken care of. Yeah. That's such a good feeling knowing that, man, that noise is annoying. And now guess what? It's gone because we pulled everything apart, re-greased everything. And hey, there you go. Yep. Problem solved. So there you go. Anyways, that was awesome. Hope you guys liked the video. 
And like Brandy says, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, we're on Patreon if you want to go check us out up over there. We put some stuff up that nobody else sees. Uh, there's videos up there that we've not ever released on YouTube. There's pictures, there's little short videos, stuff like that. So go check us out over there. Uh, don't forget to click that dislike like. Don't dislike twice if you don't like something we're doing so we know. And subscribe, like, comment. Like I said, Brandy said peace. See you guys. Till next time.